All right, good morning. So we have uh, some mix up on work Turn orders right. this morning. Then take the first right onto state. And we are, uh, the call they put me on is a new construction call. The new construction contractor is trying to diagnose it, replace TXV, and it's a 20 seer train. And they're having issues with pressures not being right. So they're sending me, but because the line set's so long, I want to, I'm trying to bring another tech. Uh, just so someone can watch the gauges while I watch the inside unit because it could be an intermittent blower motor issue or something like that. I got a feeling. Car accident this morning. It's not good. But, uh, so we're, first, I'm going to go help this tech with his call. He's got a couple of UV lights, um, air purification systems to put in, and then which is vacant and then we're gonna go do uh, this other call that I gotta go do which is vacant and I'll bring you guys along for the ride and see if we can figure out what's going on these new construction situations it could be like a pinch dug somewhere after the fact that we installed it so there's no telling what's going on with the system so I'm gonna check static pressure I want to do everything we can do from there and then after that we got another call so i'll get to that one a little later but we'll see you there all right we are here i'm grabbing these and getting started waiting for preston to grab the air purifiers but yeah let's get started so when installing these i like to look at an area you could probably put it over there i think i'm gonna put it Maybe here so it's easy to read for maintenance and change out. But I always look at the airflow. So you're gonna go put it, airflow going up like that. Some of them were mounted that way. So you just gotta pay attention to your airflow, which I don't know if it even really matters or not, but. And what becomes a wire nuts and everything. I will use this right here as my diagram, because you all you're gonna cut in the ductwork is this little round hole. That's it. So we will hold this little round hole up here. And up here like this, and I'll cut the circle out. You could go ahead and just stick it on there. If that's where you want it. Cut the circle out and then mount, mount the thing on there. Uh, but that's probably what we'll do and call this one done. You just do the wiring after that. So I just stick it to it, cut my little circle, and then you're gonna peel that off and you're gonna shove this through the hole and stick this to the black part. And then sometimes they send you another little sleeve, this one, to um, go around the edge. Just the outer silver is what you're gonna use. A note for Remy, if you're out there listening, I think a really cool design would be to have a little tab so you can easily grab that and peel that off because that is a pain in the butt to try to get off sometimes. So if you're listening, add a little peel tab. too big and these things are falling out and taped up crazy that's all you gotta do i do bring some extra tape in case there's not a lot of room and some spray adhesive but a nice clean one all you need is what they give you so i think we're good to go that's it now all that's left is the wiring but if you ever need to change the bulb you just twist like that and it comes out and then that's how you change your bulb real real easy Slide it right back in, and then bam. So here's a lot of stickler between technicians. Um, do you hook it up via 24 volts to the green wire so only when the fan kicks on it's on, or do you always leave it running? Okay, sometimes when you always leave it running and it's always getting UV, 
we have deterioration on the wiring and stuff. It constantly happens. And a lot of technicians know what I'm talking about. But in the installation, it says that they recommend for optimal performance and maximum sale life for the bulb that the Remy Halo Zero product line operates continuously for wiring assistance. So you're going to end up wiring this transformer that they give you to whatever you need it to wire to, 120, um, whichever, 240, whichever you prefer. And it has to be on all the time. I have always wired it to the green wire. I'll just cut this wire and the wire to the green wire so it's only running the fan. But we're gonna do it for video sake purposes, exactly how the install tells us to do it, because I don't want to teach you guys the wrong way. But from my experience, the bulbs all they break when they're constantly running more than the other way. But I think it really also depends on the equipment, so that's why Remy always recommends one way. Because depending on the equipment and the amps and stuff, the while unit pulls, it could it could kill these a little quicker, these bulbs. So we're gonna do it the way they say, for video sake purposes. Before I start doing anything, we are gonna turn the power off. And then we're gonna start going, the noise you hear is the dehumidifier still running. He's got about a thousand wires going through here, so we had to make another hole here. We run it out and up and over. I'll plug it in, lights on. We got some blue light, I think we're good to go. We got one more we gotta install on the returns, right? These things. Plug it in and twist it. This right here, come on back, it'll fall back behind it. So when you plug it in and twist it. Oh, I see the little thing now. There's a... Yeah, that's All this is is a magnetic UV bulb for the return. Is it going to fit? That was too long. So we got it ran through, bulb in there. This goes up to this blue box. We had to run 24 volts. So I have it connected all to the same transformer and we're gonna watch it blow up. You guys ready? Kaboom! She's glowing. She's glowing. All right, I think we're good. We'll throw it together and get the next one done. You guys are... All right, so we are installed. We are up and running. Uh, no crazy cable showing, but it's that simple. Hope this helps somebody out. I wouldn't say save your money and do it yourself. Always call a professional. Uh, we get extended warranties on the Pro Series stuff. So uh, Amazon one, you might not get extended warranty on it. I didn't set up the tripod or have a cameraman on that one. So I don't know how well, or if you guys get the info you need out of it, but it's pretty simple to install those. It's not bad at all. So um, if you guys got any questions, comment below and like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.